Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, January the 20th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first. Race 8, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6 furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Phillies and Mayors, 4 years old, an up race for an optional claim in purse of some $64,000. Contenders number 1, June by number 5, Enchante, number 7, Midnight Visit, and number 6, Super Slash. Number one, June Bai, an 8 to 1 shot, has hit the board in three of her last four outings overall, with two of those efforts, including a win in her third race back, also qualifying as power runs. Number five, Inshante, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus power pony, comes off a power run win in her last start. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez and trainer Rudy Rodriguez sent her postward this afternoon. They fit the board with 54% of their entries settled. As a team to date. Race 8 summary number 1, June Bai, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 5, Enchante, number 7, Midnight Visit, and number 6, Super Slash 1576 in the 8th from the Big A. Let's go to Gulfstream Park next for race 3, 1 34 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's Phillies and Mayors, 4 years old, and up rates for an optional claiming purse of some $60,000. Tenders number three, Final Mesa, the paired entry of number 1A, Wildcat Alley, and number one, Bronx City Girl on my list, along with number five, Strike the Moon, and number six, Catch a Thief. Number three, Final Mesa, nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint, has won four of six in her career to date in dirt sprints. She's posted a trio of circle trips in her last five starts, with two of those winning efforts also qualifying as power run wins. Jockey Jeff Sanchez and trainer Wesley Ward send her postward this afternoon. They fit the board with nearly half of more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Number 1A, Wildcat Alley, has hit the board in three of her last five overall, winning twice, while her stablemate, number 1 Bronx City Girl, drops in class by 13 track master units. It's the overall speed leader in this field today. Race 3 summary, number 3, Final Mesa, tops my contenders list, which also includes the paired entry of number 1A, Wildcat Alley, and number 1, Bronx City Girl, also on my contenders list, number 5, Strike the Moon, and number 6, Catch a Thief, 3-1-5-6 in the third, today from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, let's go to Beulah Park in Ohio, race 4, the 6-1 to one shot, number 4, Where's the Limit, takes a class drop of 5 units, the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Charlestown, race four, the six to one shot. Number two, SS Patriot, drops in class by seven units. The Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier. So, handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Friday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.